if you came to hear me beg, you're gonna be disappointed. Now, before I start and say anything, I just want to get out of the way. If you're here to just type something like, ooh, heart attack, or make a heart attack joke, or lose a kitty joke, or say anything relevant towards that, might as well just fuck off and not even comment anything, alright? It, it's no point trying to make an unfunny joke like that that's already a year old, and it's it adds no merit to the video whatsoever, alright? You're only looking for attention, you're only showing that you are desperate, so if you don't want to show that you are desperate or looking for attention with an unfunny gag, might as well just fuck off, because you're just showing your myopic mindset and showing that you're not even going to listen to what I have to say in the fucking video, alright? Thank you for the attention, by the way. So now, with those people out of the way, thank you for the people who are going to stick around for the next video and who are and who are curious what I have to say about this video. Now, Again, before I get into the real meat, I have to state that I'm not trying to take the moral high ground in any of this, alright? I'm not trying to say that I'm morally superior than anyone that I talk about in this video, or anything that I have to vent about in this video, alright? I'm gonna just- I'm just gonna sit here and say that I need to get all, everything off of my chest. This is- this is a year in the making, alright? I have had so much, so much- built up on my shoulders, chest, and everything within the past year. Through all of the events that has happened over the course of this year. And I'm I'm at a boiling point now with everything and just how this current position that I'm in in this fucking community. I will start off by saying that this is not gonna be a highly edited video. This is gonna be me venting about stuff, alright? I'm gonna start off by saying, people are fake. People are disingenuous. People are hypocrites. People have double standards. And most importantly, people have huge egos and love to take the moral high ground over stupid pedantic shit. It's very, very apparent with the recent incidents that has happened within the past few weeks? Months or so? I don't have a problem with people messing up once, alright? If you make a big fuck up, right? You, surely you can learn from that fuck up, right? Surely you can understand, t take it as a learning lesson, and in hopes to improve yourself better in the future, to become a better person and not fuck up again. But I have a real, real issue with people continuously making mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake and not being called out for it. And it shows with John Swan's recent drama, alright? I've been teeter-tottering the idea of, am I going to make a video on John? Am I going to share my personal experiences with John? Or do I just shut up about it and continuing what I want to do with my content? And not, not stoop down to the fucking bottom feeders in this community has to say, Oh, John Swan fucked up. You know, John Swan did this. You know, I'm just an observer and I'm just giving my own opinions and my own takes on this. When in fact, dog, you weren't even involved in the fucking drama, okay? You're only pissed because you got bamboozled by a trusted YouTuber, alright? With my personal experiences with John, it doesn't stem from since December when I called him out on his live stream for not apologizing to Pie Man, alright? And I'll get into Pie Man later. It doesn't stem from that. It doesn't stem from in September when he made his live stream dedicated to me, contact, cardiac arrest, uh, rainism. It doesn't stem, be it stems beyond that. It actually stems from January 3rd, 2020 when I first had an interaction with this prick all right and from the very first interaction I had with this prick did not like him I knew he was fucking egotistical I knew he was pretentious I knew that he thought of himself morally higher than a lot of other people and it shows from when I made that tier list and I put him in fucking F tier and he threw a piss fit on Twitter about it and has to make a big deal because John Swan F tier oh John Swan F tier can yeah no one no one puts John Swan F tier right D and he cannot take fucking criticism, and it obviously shows within what what's happened recently. So that's just one thing why he doesn't like me. It's because because you know what? If it was just that one thing and he didn't like me, he could probably grow out of it. All right, you know, one person doesn't like John Swan or his content. You know, take the piss out of him. Oh, fuck this guy and his opinions. You know, this, whatever. Fine. Second thing. All right, probably didn't help me either. All right, and I 
I'll admit, too, before I mention this next thing, yeah, I fucked up, alright? I made a mistake, but when you're new to the community, you tend to mix people up quite a lot, alright? You're still trying to learn people's names and stuff like that. So, when I was first understanding who John Swan was, right, there was a figure named Tazir who had a boyfriend at the time named John Progress, okay? But people didn't call him John Progress. They were calling him Progress or just straight up John, okay? I didn't know there was two fucking Johns in the in, in during this time because again, when you're new to the community, you're still learning people's fucking names, all right? When you're in in you're when you're in an introverted place, right? You don't go out and explore people's names and understanding who's who in this community, all right? It, dog, there's over fucking 200 figures in this community, over 200, well over 300 at this point now, currently. Like, do you expect me to learn everyone's fucking names and watch everyone's content on, like, a fucking daily basis at this point? So, while I'm still trying to understand people's names, I get the two Johns mixed up, alright? I get the two Johns mixed up, and I thought John Swan was John Progress at the time. Laughable now, looking back on it, but dog, you gotta realize, too, probably there's probably some of you who had to, like, and I'll give up a good example when you have to fucking move schools or some shit and you gotta still learn people's fucking names Of course, you don't have the best memory and you got and you accidentally mix people's names up, you know what? It's common common pro, common issue, you know a common mistake Which is fine and stuff John didn't like that all too much John thought I was spreading lies about him. John thought I was a piece of shit for Spreading lies and slandering gaslighting him because I mixed up the two fucking Johns. All right So that's another thing why he doesn't like me and It and the next thing he doesn't like me. is what I want to get into. All right. Oh He rain faked a heart attack. Oh rain lied about Lily kitty. Oh rain did this and that and he's a piece of shit All right for the people who still hate me for those things you obviously understand. No, no, no. Actually, no, no. I, I can, I can say this. I can say this because I fully agree with this, with this uh, uh, mindset. I don't think you believe in two sides to every story. All right. You go under the assumption and listening to whatever fucking herd is going on at the time. And that's your overall take because you're not smart enough to come up with your own conclusions and to un listen to both sides of every story. All right, you come to the conclusion with whatever the popular person says, and that's it. All right, why bother being so invested into something so innocuous if you're not even gonna listen to, you know, both parties at fault? All right, I will sit here and say that yeah, I fucked up. I made mistakes. I did. I made some shitty lies. All right. Am I proud of it? Of course not, okay? I owned up to my mistakes. I've already apologized to the people who fucking deserve an apology and not the people who keep asking for one. I, like I said, I owned up to them. I regret every single day. I hate myself for making those mistakes. I regret making those mistakes every day on a daily basis, all right? Those those mistakes are gonna linger with me for a long time, and fuck, man, I hate myself for making those mistakes. I wish I shouldn't have done it. Every single day, I wish I shouldn't have lied about those things. <sighs> but, again, you can't please everyone, all right? No matter how many times you apologize, no matter how many days, weeks, months, you've shown to improve yourself from those mistakes, no matter if you take those mistakes as a learning lesson and you take the whole cancellation as a learning lesson saying like well fuck I was a prick back then you know what I I, I need to improve myself I, I hate myself for who I am currently I, I I need to change I need to change for the better so I can be a better person than how I fucking was no matter how many no matter what progress you do people are gonna have I know you love me saying this. I know you love me saying this, Will. People are going to have this myopic mindset. And yes, it could not be any closer to the fucking truth, all right? People are going to have this myopic mindset and have this sheep-like mentality. 
and and just and just go with whatever the popular opinion is. And and it shows time and time again. It happened with Pie Man. It's it happened with the fucking Tom thing. It happened with the Call Me Carson thing. You know, people are gonna go with the popular opinion. Carson's a pedo. Pyro is a pedo and stuff like that. And again, you know, they're making a big deal out of him. It was like, oh my god, you know. It's just very recently, too, at the time of recording this, it's shown that uh, Keemstar did upload the French girl interview. Um, they only e-dated. Nothing sexual happened. And it was only for two weeks. So why is it bad? Why why is it so bad that everyone's making it? Why is it worse? Why are people making it worse than it is? All right? But yet, people don't give a shit. They go with whatever negative impact is at the time, no matter what the narrative is. As bad as you can make the narrative to be, people are going to listen because YouTube audiences just love negativity. And in fact, I wouldn't be surprised if this video gets somewhat attention because I'm being critical of things and other people. It doesn't matter what I'm going to fucking say. People are not going to listen nonetheless. So what's the fucking point of making sound? I'm going to continue, though. I'm going to continue, though. This begins my interactions with Mango, my friendship with Mango. Every single day since, what, like a couple days after my birthday when we stopped being friends, I fucking regretted ever meeting her with to begin with. Because holy fuck, you, just, you really don't know how a person is until some serious shit goes down, all right? And behind it, and people like to say that, oh, Mango is the victim in this whole situation. Oh, you fuck, you, you, you are a terrible person to Mango. You were the shitty friend to Mango. It went both ways, buddy. All right. She, she's not a saint either, too. She was just as much, if not a bigger cunt behind the scenes than I was. And still is currently from what I'm hearing from people. Um... I think it's pretty funny with uh, one of her quotes in her videos is, uh, is, um, you know, being bullied help build your character. I really hope you get bullied more before you graduate high school. I, I genuinely mean that because I feel like, I feel like it could help build your character. You When in fact, her herself can't practice what she preaches, and that whenever she gets bullied, she has to end up blocking people on that shit and not listen to what they have to say. Which is pretty funny, too. I'm just gonna say this if you're gonna dish it out, you better be ready to fucking take it. And holy fuck, a lot of people dished it out with me within the past year, and now all of a sudden. People, figure after figure, left and right, are getting called out. And they're not ready to fucking take it. John wasn't ready to take it. Currently, Mango's getting some shit for us, too, which which I find amusing. I find this fucking hilarious. I'm, I'm going off topic. I'm going off topic. I'm, I'm just not scripted. I'm just going to go with whatever uh, thought I have currently. She tried to accuse me of flirting with a 15-year-old girl. Because this 15-year-old girl lied to her when she was friends with this 15-year-old girl. And then yet when this 15-year-old girl got called out for being such a liar, she, 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 she's two-faced. She's two-faced. And she just quickly turns heel on her, on her friend, because she got called out for life. Because she, Mango is an, a, Mango is a disingenuous, opportunistic person that isn't afraid to ride the wave of hate. Just so as long as it stays away from her. To quote Idubs, she is willing to call out someone as she is to drop to their knees and suck them, just so as long as it benefits her. And I honestly, I honest to God believe that. I honest to God believe that type of mindset with her. Reflecting on her current behavior, reflecting on her past behavior, how she is behind the scenes, honest to God I believe that that, that is her mindset, that is her behavior. And that's the only reason why she's got 6k. I'm stuck where I'm at, because, not only because I made mistakes, but, you know what, because I'm not a fucking whore for clout. You know what's very weird, too? 
very creepy too. I don't know why she would do this, but um, she's friends with uh, someone by the name of uh, Masturbatory Tales of Wonder. Masturbatory loves to rip on Rain because oh, you know, Rain is he's the gift that keeps on giving. He's he's just he's just like Chris Chan, except less fat and is okay with his own gender. It's, I think it's very weird, too, that Max feels the need to talk about me 24-7 to the point where he got in contact with my IRL, an IRL who's hated me and who's spread lies about me since fucking high school, you know, who was just a worse person than I ever was. And has to go off of stupid ass fucking assumptions like, oh, PewDiePie is a Nazi, JonTron's a Nazi, so and so is a fucking Nazi or whatever fucking ideology he believes in. But um, yeah. So so to talk about going back on the John Swan too and how this triangle of fucking cancer happened, I just got told recently about a couple weeks ago that months ago in December. Late November, I want to believe, around that time, I was actually doxxed in John Swan's server. Now, no locations were leaked. The only thing that got leaked was my full name and a bunch of slander made about me. And I could show those screenshots right up here. Before I talk about Max's shit video, I just want to say it's like, Dog, why do you feel the need to, like, lie about stupid, innocuous shit? Oh, Rain's actually 5'2". Oh, Rain actually has a low in- lives in a low-income house and stuff like that. He lies about his fucking income. Oh, Rain's this and that. It's like, first of all, you're the fucking liar for making up these stupid-ass assumptions, all right? Lie about stupid, innocuous shit just to make me look more of, like, a joke. And second, I don't think really anyone with more than a brainstem actually gives a shit. No one cares about stupid, innocuous facts like that, all right? No one cares about stupid, pedantic facts like that. Fucking fake facts, as a matter of fact. No one cares about the rantism lore this much other than the basement-dwelling cocksuckers who look up the figures like John Swan and think that's the funniest shit. Oh, this fucking... Innocuous YouTuber, Raintism, 600 subs. What a joke. What a joke. Fuck this guy. Let's make a live stream and make fun of him the whole time because fuck this guy. This guy's a joke. He's meme material. Fuck this guy. Fuck what he has to say. Fuck what's going on in his mind. You know, let's, let's try and silence him and ratio him because that gives me personal enjoyment. <laughs> Fucking John Swan, dude. Dude, I swear to God. Two silver play buttons but zero bitches. Anyways, so so this this doxer went to John's server, spread a bunch of false uh, facts about me, uh, lied about me flirting with a 16-year-old girl and dating her and shit. That's a fucking lie. Tried to insinuate that I was a pedo. That's, that's fucking, that's real funny. Yeah, dude. Just, uh, just lie about, you know, something like that. A great timing, too, considering... The other two fucking allegations that were going on at the time of during that too. So, of course, people are going to fucking believe that. Because, hey, one potato got cut. Two potato got cut. Three potato? Oh, my fucking God, dude. Holy shit, dude. So, Max thought it was a, a funny opportunity to do an interview with this doctor and get Mango onto the call too. And it's just weird. It's a weird, creepy video. Why do you indulge like like this is a problem that extends beyond max this is a problem that extends beyond me it's a problem that extends be beyond the fucking commentary community it, it's 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 is it just the commentary community like it, like are people's lives so boring that they have to indulge themselves in the other people's lives for their own amusement because that's honestly first of all fucking <laughs> that that's Oh my god, dude, that's so sad. That's so sad, and that's so creepy, too, dog. I'm only invested into the John Swan recent drama because I'm fucking glad that he got what he deserved. I'm getting ahead of myself. So they decided to make this fucking interview video with me, just basically lying and just make mocking me the whole time, and just like, 
oh, Rain did this, Rain did that, oh, boo, 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 oh, he, oh, his cousin's, uh, cousin's a loser, too, you know, fuck this guy, fuck his cousin, you know, oh, Rain's a joke, Rain's a joke, heart attack, lol, everyone's laughing, oh, people raffle copter and shit, you know, what, what, what the fuck, like, what Eve, even is the point, what, enjo- what enjoyment do people get out of that, like, looking in from, like, an outsider's perspective, I've had people come up to me and ask me, he's like, dog, are you all right, dude, are you all right, these people are making fun of you, dude, is this true, is this true, none of it's fucking true, them motherfuckers are sad for, um, just, just lying about stupid innocuous shit like that, yeah, it gets to me, and I think that's, the, uh, I guess that's their intent, you know, but, like, what was their ending goal, okay, you made your video, what now, I mean, you aren't, you aren't successful, uh, back to, uh, back to what I was saying, no, this, their whole treatment towards me, you know, I'm not trying to blame victim here, right, like I said, I'm not trying to play victim, what I've lied about was fucked, I know it's fucked, okay, but, again, to say that I am this malicious person, this monster person, who did this stuff with such heinous intent, is obviously fucking false, okay? I didn't go around spreading these fucking lies, all right? They were in the heat of the moment, pressured moments where I, I felt pressured. I felt pressured to do this by people who I fucking trusted. And, you know, people don't think when it's in the heat of the moment. People don't think correctly when you feel pressured. Anyone with a fucking thought process can understand this. Anyone with, with a sense of reality can understand a mindset like that. John Swan's and Mango's mentality, I'm sorry, treatment towards me, has fucked up my mentality. All right? It's fucked up me mentally, dog. It, it really did. It really did. My friends abandoned me because of it. Rightfully so. All right? If, if you hate me currently for it, if, if, I, if, I, if I ever, like, reach out to you and you're still mad at me, I understand, right? I understand. I understand I betrayed your trust. But if you think that I'm the same person how I was back then, dog, open your fucking eyes, dude. I, honestly, and and people, my friends, my current friends told me this too. I don't think my past actions reflect who I am currently. But yeah, people can't see that. People, People turn a blind eye to shit like that. It's fucking sick. The people's respects who I've earned within the past days, weeks, months, since September, I honestly have fucking respect for you. Because you've shown that you are able to listen to both sides. You've shown that you care about certain individuals. You show that people can learn from their mistakes. And through the people whose respects who I've earned, whose respects who I've gained, you know, I've had at least one interaction with them. People who have stopped interacting with me or have not seen my improvements still hate me. Did anyone else notice that too? People who respect me now has at least went out of the way to have at least one interaction with me and thought, Man, dude, this guy is not as bad as everyone else says he is. Maybe, you know what, he seems pretty fucking chill. You know what, He's what he did was fucked up. But you know what, at least I, I can see that he probably improved himself since then. You know, maybe maybe he's worth giving a second chance. You know, may, may, just fucking maybe. But for the people who still continuously hate me, for the people who go out of their way to make a fucking heart attack joke on the daily because it's just as funny as fucking Amy Schumer or Dane Cook. They have never interacted with me, or at least stopped interacting with me since. (laughs) Fucking, why, why do people indulge themselves in the drama? In the fucking stupid, petty YouTube drama? It's like high school all over again, dog. I fucking hated high school. And yet, all of this shit just feels like fucking high school. How, how sad is that, dog? How sad is that? And speaking of YouTube drama, almost every interaction I've had lately 
every discussion I've had has been about YouTube drama. Fuck, even- I can't even go into Dr. Skipper's server anymore. Just to talk about something that's- just- just- to, if- if there is a god, I would get on my hands and knees and fucking pray to god that I can at least get one day without these fucking 15 year olds coming in here and going like, hey, Yo, uh, yo, you wanna- wanna check out my new edit? You wanna see- check out my new intro for my video about uh, me talking about, uh, the 14 year old French girl or talk about the fucking vegan teacher, you know? Do you- do you want- you wanna- you wanna- you wanna see that shit? Dude, who the fuck cares? Dude, I'm seeing motherfuckers here making 20 videos on this vegan teacher bitch. I don't even know who she is. I don't even know what she did, dude. Because I don't give a shit enough to care. And yet these guys, these guys are only popular because they played the algorithm like a fucking fiddle, dude. And they're only doing it with money. That's their intent is to get fucking clout and money. What a bunch of whores, dude. Do you feel proud of yourself making 20 videos daily? On some old bitch talk, uh, ranting on TikTok because she's got fucking dried up ovaries or some shit. Do you feel accomplished in yourself, dog? Like dead ass? And do you feel like accomplished in yourself? Do you feel proud of yourself going, Rentism, heart attack, lol. You know, saying shit like that. At least I can get a kick out of fucking creativity. But posting the fucking Homer Simpson gif or the fucking Sanford and Sons gif, you know? Like, like, there's no fucking creativity in that. It's a fucking year-old meme, dog. Get over it. Fucking, if you, if you don't, like, you're showing that you cannot move on. And, and it, it's, it's, it's finally dawned on me after so many months that people, no matter what the fuck I say, no matter what I predict, I'm right and based from some people or people are not going to listen and they're going to find out months later that I was right the whole time. And even then, even then, a good example to this is when I was fucking right about John Swan being a piece of shit scumbag. When I was right about John Swan for being an absolute prick. For over a year, I've been calling this guy out for his bullshit, for his egotistical behavior, for a fact of how much of a fucking loser this dude is. For how much of a weasel this guy is. For over a year, no one listened. No one listened. No, I'm, I'm sorry. People listened to, oh, he had heart attack. Why should we take him seriously? That's what people listen to. You feel proud of yourself for listening to John Swan now, dog? You feel proud of yourself for riding the rain hate wave? I hope you feel proud because... Dog, I've been smiling ear to ear ever since he made that take and accountability post and only showed how much of a dickhole he is. I, b I would love to fucking dance on the grave of John Swan's career right now, on his YouTube career. You know, I'd fucking do that shit, dog. Fuck that guy. I hope he never comes back. But I heard from Cobra that he's going to come back within a few months. Why even bother? Why even bother, dude? You know what? I hope, I, I got, I have to say this, as a YouTuber, I have to say this, I hope he comes back and improves, alright, I hope he comes back as an improved person, you know, and not so much of a cockbite as he was before, but I have to say that as a YouTuber, alright, but in all honesty, I hope he doesn't fucking come back, he's good at singing, why doesn't he do a fucking music career or something like that? He's good at me make singing, doing songs. Why doesn't he do music? You know? There's something else that he's good at besides fucking taking liberties out on Twitter and making fucking boring ass documentaries. It's pretty funny too that we have to go back and watch his content to see what else he's lied about. I find that I find that hilarious. I can take light ribbing. I could take, like, light jokes from, like, friends. If your your intent is to joke about me, you know, with the heart attack shit or the loose shit, you know what? That's fine. I could take light ribbing. But there are people who go out of their way just to fucking hate me. Just to hate me, dog. And, and their only excuse is, well, it's the internet. You know, that's what you're going to have to take. When, when... 
how how do we get to such a point when that's a fucking excuse to be such a degenerate human being, dog? Like, when do we get to such a point where that's a f- that's that's the common excuse that people use to act like such a fucking dip ass on on online, dude? Like, like, dude, like as. We're supposed to be, like, as humans, supposed to be the fucking top of the food chain. The most intelligent beings on this planet. But yet, it's like, whatever step we take forward, we take, like, 2,000 steps backwards. And it's it's not just one joke that's pissing me off. It's after dealing with it on a daily, weekly, monthly, now fucking yearly basis that it's causing too much built up stress it, it feels like there's a glass ceiling over my head and my neck is just getting more and more bent the closer because the, the ceiling's on top of me I have too much on my fucking shoulders I got too much stuff built up the, the, the whole this all this all can just fucking move on it doesn't have to be like this dog People could just fucking move on. And people are saying like, Rain, you're making it worse by talking about it. Dog, I think it's worse for me not to talk about it. Because the less and less I not, t- the more and more I don't talk about it, the more and more people just decide to take liberties about this, dude. The more and more hate I fucking get, the less and less I talk about this, dog. Doesn't matter what, because, because, dog, you gotta see this from my perspective, too. If Harley TBS can go on fucking his Twitter timeline and just to spread lies and fucking slander and fucking false narratives about me, and I don't say something about it, people are gonna listen to that clout chasing cockbite, and, and not even, and not even listen to both ends, is like, well, Rain, Harley said this about you, you know, is this true? Is this true? No, they're too lazy to go do that. They'd rather consume whatever the popular person says, and then that's their fucking mindset about it. People don't give a shit to listen to other people. People don't give a shit, dog. Why bother even being vocal? Why bother even being real? Why bother even be genuine with how I feel if I'm just going to be silenced by ignorant people? With the position I am currently... I feel like I'm silenced 24-7. I feel like I can't speak up about it. Because whatever, whatever the fuck I'm going to say, you're going to have stupid, ignorant people say, Well, you know, you made this past mistake, so who are you wanting to talk? Two things. You probably just have made bad, if not worse, mistakes behind the scenes, but they're not even public about it. So I don't want to hear fucking from you. And second... At least I can go out of my way and say I've learned from a mistake. And yet you still follow people who continuously make bad decisions. Dog, and you know what's fucking, you know what sucks too? You know what sucking fucks right now? The comment section of this video is going to be so divided. Because you're going to have ignorant people who only watch three seconds of the video. Instantly dislike it and say something like, all you ever do is complain. All you ever do is f- whine and bitch, dog. I'm tired of you taking liberties. <laughs> all you ever do is complain. You never try to make things better. You know what? People listen when I complain, and then they complain that I complain, so I complain back. And our people are gonna say, and then there are gonna people that are gonna say, "Well, rain, rain is so base, dude. Base rain, back at it again. Rain, this is such a base take. I, I'm, I'm gonna be real with you, all right? I hate being called base, because honestly, I'm confused that people aren't already seeing the glaring issues with certain individuals and aren't saying anything about it. It doesn't take more than a brainstem to notice these issues and understand certain figures and the problems with these certain figures are in this community and it doesn't take more than a brainstem to to see and notice the glaring issues that are going on in the community and it's again and it's again i've seen cm punk said this and again i've said this in my twit longer too the fucking one i trolled you all about with the fucking copy pasta that i did basically you know got y'all with that meme I'm just a spoke on the wheel, and the wheel's gonna keep turning, and no one's gonna fucking listen. So it doesn't matter what take I have, it doesn't matter how vocal I get, it doesn't matter what, how, how much I complain. 
people aren't going to listen. And people are going to do the same shit over and over and over again. So what's the fucking point of even being vocal about how I feel? Hell, fuck. Let's go back to September when I was vocal about my suicidal thoughts. How I was vocal about my depression because my friends were leaving me. I hated myself for lying. And you got douchebags like John Swan mocking the situation. How's that make me feel? How did I felt during that time? I was fucking depressed. That was the worst time of... I thought was one of the most recent worst times of my entire life. Not the lowest point ever, but goddamn it's one of. It's, it's, it's up there, though. I legit had... I legit had mental issues, dog. I still have mental issues. Alright? I had suicidal tendencies. I wanted to fucking kill myself during that time. And how did people respond? Oh, Rain's just manipulating people. Oh, Rain's just suicide baiting people. He's fucking weaponizing his suicidal thoughts. Fuck this guy. Don't even listen to what he says. Don't send any hate towards him. Fuck this guy. I saw a tweet a couple weeks ago that said people with trust issues are the smartest in the commentary community. And that couldn't be... Dude, that is such a scary statement. Because it's so, so close to the truth. I honestly believe that it's the fucking truth in this commentary community. How did we come to this, dog? How did we as a fucking community come to statements like that being so, so true? I tell people that they can just fucking move on. You're not obligated to sit here and make fun of me, dog. You're not obligated to stay. I'm not obligated to looking for people's fucking approvals. I just do what I want to do, take liberties, and have fun with YouTube. But yet, yeah, people think that they are obligated to stay and just to fucking relentlessly mock me and make me want to fucking kill myself every day. I said this before and I'll say it again. I don't give a shit if this is an edgy statement or not. I don't care if people are shocked or hate me after I make this statement. I can understand why Edgar killed himself. I can see why he did. I'm not comparing myself to him. I'm just going to say I understand why he did what he did. It doesn't matter how unwell you are mentally. You're going to get mocked relentlessly just because that's the popular opinion. Look what happened to Pie Man. Actually, you know, you know what? Let, let me let me tell you a personal story about Pie Man. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and say this. Pie Man rubs me the wrong way. I don't hate the kid, but he ain't no saint. All right. P yeah, sure. I felt bad after John Swan endlessly mocked him, and say and lied about him, saying that he's suicide bait. Yeah, I felt bad. Who wouldn't? But dog, to say that you know he's a good kid, you know after all this, he yeah, dude he. He continuously makes mistake after mistake. Recently, I, his behavior, his current behavior rubs me the wrong way. He tried to blame me for something I didn't do and blatantly lied to my friends about the certain narrative that he's going off of. He blocked me on Twitter and yet is too much of a bitch to insult me face to face. And for the people saying, it's like, oh, Rain, you can't go hard on Pie Man, you know? He 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 made a mistake, but you know what? It wasn't right for John Swan to treat him like he did. Well, I don't think it's right for Pie Man to continuously act like how he is currently. And yet, I can't say anything about it because people are going to hate me for saying one negative thing about some figure who went through a lot. And then yet, when I go through a lot... People feel the need to fucking make fun of me for it. Do you understand that this community has fucking double standards with people in this... Fuck, man, dude. They have double standards with every single figure in this community. It doesn't go both... It goes both ways, dog. All right? You can't cherry pick each individual and say, Hey, this one went through a lot. Let's treat him nice. Oh, this one went through a lot, but fuck him. Mr. Microwave is probably the happiest motherfucker right now. He left this community, and he's... I, I'm not sure. Is he living with his girlfriend? I'm not sure. He's probably the happiest motherfucker on the planet right now. So he's the because he doesn't have to deal with this shit on the daily basis, and he's all right living, a, probably a well happy life right now, dude. Probably happy mentally, dog. Not having to deal with stupid bullshit like this. 
It's no wonder why I ha why I always have one foot out the door in this community. I've changed. I've improved. And I'm not the same person who I was last year. And if you can't see that, you're not obligated to stay. Maybe maybe I'm all misunderstanding this, and this is just everyone taking liberties. I just hope to God that this is just a meme that I created, and people are just taking liberties. That's the most I ever wanted in this fucking community, was to create a meme. If you feel obligated to continue making heart attack jokes just to harass me on a daily basis, to fucking call up my house... And harass my family when I was getting canceled. I seriously think you have a real disconnect with reality. Because, dog, this stopped becoming jokes a long time ago. All I wanted was to help you. I only wanted to help. And what did you say to me? Rain, I am uncancelable. You are a sad man who is offline mentally. It tore me apart. But I learned an important lesson. You can't count on anyone. That anyone, anyone can, you know, be called out for anything. No matter how f how much you or how much you put them on a pedestal, how much anyone watching this puts them on a pedestal, or how much they then themselves put themselves on a pedestal. And when I'm old and I've had my fun, I'll take liberties. So that everyone can be offline mentally. Everyone can take liberties. And when everyone's taking liberties, <laughs> no one will be. <laughs> and I'm honestly glad I've got what I needed to get off my chest. And for the people who stuck around, who are still listening, thank you for your time.